genre. Uh -huh. um, 11 books. I, don't, I didn't really break down on what's poetry, what's fiction, what's nonfiction. Mm -hmm. But can you tell me like what, what makes you pick a genre? How do, how do you decide what's going to emerge mm -hmm. in what form? How do you see like, those forms connected and how are they very disparate in your engagement with them? I mean, it started out being so instinctive, right? Um, so one of the things that I, um, I say kind of facetiously, uh, but it's because, you know, when, when I go to conferences with writers from around the world, um, they always say this, you know, you're, you're, you're with a writer from Egypt and a writer from Syria. Um, and it seems that this, this dedication to single genres always feels that things that, well, to say it in the most polite way, it's things that people from developed countries do. <laughs> <laughs> the purest instinct. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a very American and a very British mm. thing, this I am a this. And if you come from, I think, you know, the Caribbean or, or you know, all these other places, even Syria, whatever, you just find writers who go, we write what we need to write because here is a landscape that is so, it needs so much writing. There is so much to write about it that you just don't have the luxury to say, I, I am a this. Just, I am a writer and I'm going to write what needs to be written because my landscape, my culture needs all of these things. And this is, this is what I bring to this space is words and the shape of those words might be different. It might be what you call genre, <laughs> uh, but it's the project. It's the project of writing for this mm. space that we belong to, um, that, 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 that you have to wrestle with it and that wrestling with it in words looks different. Mm -hmm. And how the broader literary world makes sense of that is, oh, you're working through different genres. But I think in our minds, I'm working on a, on one project of trying to capture this landscape, mm -hmm. and that might look differently. That, that's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there are other ways. Uh, in, in another sense, I, I, so I, I think I came to different genres just by pure instinct. I actually think I am strict to know uh, uh, about those changes. So, so even though I just think, yeah, you, you write what needs to be written, I think it took me a while to um, okay, in, in, in this world where everyone is interdisciplinary, you know, that, 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 that's just been a kind of buzzword for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I do completely believe that, you ha that disciplines matter, mm. that you have to be disciplined before you become interdisciplined, right? Um, that it, it, it matters what you're writing. It does matter if you are writing a novel. It does matter if you are writing a poem. Um, and you, have, you do have to understand the rules of that discipline or that genre that you're working in. And I don't think I always did that. Um, I mean, th th this, this is why it comes back to me. It's, it's, and I may, I may have said this to you in the past. I think it's about how we fix the problems mm -hmm. that we come across. Um, so what happened with me, I think I, though I started out as a fiction writer, I am most confident as a poet. Um, I just think I know what to do, how to do it. Uh, what happens then if you're writing a novel and you come across a problem in the novel and everything we write, it's going to throw up problems okay. to us. And when what we write throws up problems, our job as the writer is to fix it. Now, if you're writing a novel and you come to it with a toolkit of poetry to fix, it is not going to work. And you see, the, the thing is, I used to do that, and I see poets doing that all the time. And what results is a beautiful, beautiful piece of writing. But those are not the problems. The problems of fiction are not the problems of poetry. The problems of fiction are character, pace, tension. Those simply are not the problems of poetry. You try to fix a novel with the toolkit of poetry, and again, it's beautiful writing, but it didn't change the pace. <laughs> it didn't change the character development. And so you have a lot of beauty that doesn't advance the novel in the way that a novel has to advance. So I think Augustone was probably the first time that 
again, I had to be disciplined that oftentimes I'd come across a problem and I'd go, leave it. At this moment, you have to be a novelist. When you fix the problem, you, you know, when you write, when you're just putting things on the page, you can be everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. You can use, you can use all the tricks of poetry, everything to, to make it to make it fuller and lusher, you, you use all of yourself. But when you have to fix a problem, at that moment you have to be the thing you are doing. Mm. You have to be a novelist then. If I am writing an essay and it has a problem, I have to be an essayist in that moment. So it's, that's a duality for me. Be, be everything while you're writing, but be the one thing while you're editing. Mm.